It, it was it was a good game, you know, exciting game. Lots of penalties. I think kind of took the rhythm of probably both teams' game away. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I didn't I didn't love us in the in the first forty minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think uh, a little bit of frustration from our power play kind of carried over into our five on five game, and I just didn't think we were jumping the way we the way we did on the weekend. Um, we're in the middle of a busy stretch, but I really liked our third period. You know, to come out. Uh, down a goal, and, and I thought we really got skating in the, in the third and started putting some pressure on, started, started shooting more pucks in the offensive zone, and we were getting it back and, and again, putting some pressure on their defense and their goaltender to make some big saves, and then, um, you know, we find a way to get it done in overtime. It's a big, it's a, it's a, it's a big win for our club to keep, keep this thing going. Do you know, uh, Jared, whether there's ever been a study on when more power plays are scored? Um, you know, like you've got went on a power play just 11 seconds into the game before everybody's like really you know loose and warmed up so yeah I you know what I think it, I think it can be a good thing you got you got a fresh sheet of ice we had a fresh sheet of ice in the first fresh sheet of ice in the second I think coming mm -hmm. out in the power play for 30 seconds or 29 um, I don't think you know if you have success in that first power play and, and you're going I mean you got to be ready from the drop of the puck whether it's yeah. five on five or special teams um, I, I just we just looked a little bit out of sync just some execution things and, and we didn't finish some routes that we need to on the power play in order to get set up it just seemed like that uh, when we did we were forcing it a little bit and probably not shooting enough and getting to the net enough and you know I think that the, the Power play can take a lesson from our five-on-five play in the third period. We're shooting and crashing the net. We're getting pucks back and we're doing it again. It was giving us opportunities so we can simplify our power play a little bit, and make that happen. And how about Brad Tyson again? I mean, I mean, you guys. I listen to those games in Charlotte, and he seemed to play pretty well down there, obviously. And yeah, then to come and play like that again tonight. Yeah, I like. I mean, in Charlotte, our team played really well. At, uh, both defensively and offensively, but we had a couple of big breakdowns in those Charlotte games, and, and Thies made some big saves, saves he shouldn't make, and you know, and game savers. And in the first game, obviously with a one nothing win, yeah, it, you know, he was the difference, you know. Um, and in the second game, we give him a little bit more uh, support from the, from the goal right. scoring, but he played well in both those games. And tonight, you know, there wasn't a lot going on, but. You know that's what he does. He calms it down when he when you need a big save, he gives it to you, and he's experienced that way. And nothing rattles him, you know, on the ice at any point. And um, well, I, I gotta say, our, our penalty kill stepped up at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. You know, we get caught with too many men on a on a. I look like we jumped a guy a little early when our other guy was coming. Yeah. Um, so that's a that's a nervous situation for our team, I think. And penalty kill comes up big and thieves with a save or two at the end of that thing. And yeah, because they had the whole two chance. minutes in that. Yeah. In your end, it seemed. Yeah. So those guys to get caught out there and fight through that, and then we were able to change two guys on the strong side when the puck went in the corner the one time, and, and that helped us out to get some fresh bodies to finish it off. Okay, all right. Hey,